Hey, this is Johnny. I'm here at NAM at the Josephson Engineering booth, and they're in Santa Cruz, California, and I'm sitting here looking at this microphone. One of the coolest modern designs is you took this kind of foam-looking thing, but it's not foam. But it is foam, but it's metal foam. It's metal foam. It's so aluminum foam. Tell everybody out there what they're seeing and why, you know, why. Well, we can be uh, really open about it because it is a patented technology. We uh, we invented it, and, and not the foam itself, but the use in microphones. And the, the reason for it is really simple, and then I'll explain how it got there. When you uh, have a normal microphone with a capsule inside a basket, there's all kinds of structure inside that's really close to the capsule. And that means that any kind of sound that comes into the head grill of the microphone hits this other structure, bounces, hits the capsule, bounces back, and, 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 and rattles around a lot inside and to the various other support features of the, uh, of the basket that, that encloses the capsule. You don't like that. You don't want that. And the reason is any of those reflections can cause a nonlinearity in the frequency response, harshness, various other problems. So for a long time, we've been looking for a material that we could make a basket out of that uh, didn't cause any reflections of its own. So this is aluminum foam material. It was developed to uh, put in jet fighter fuel tanks to keep the fuel from sloshing around and for uh, solid uh, propellant rocket motors. Um, it is uh, manufactured in Northern California, uh, mostly for military applications, but we use it for this. It starts out as a block of this material. You see it looks like plastic foam. Well, it starts life as plastic foam. They cast the plastic foam with a ceramic. They burn out the, the plastic foam and they pump molten aluminum where the plastic was. And so you have an aluminum replica of what the plastic foam was. Completely random. So any reflection is going to happen at a different place according to the different direction it comes from. So they're all, all scattered around and we can't measure any specific specular reflections, which is the whole reason we do it, to get rid of any sort of reflection that's going to, that's going to mess up the sound. Well, for the people out there that don't know Josephson Engineering, uh, tell us where you're at, what's your website, and all that stuff. It's www.josephson.com. We've been around for 25 years. Started in my garage in San Jose 25 years ago. Moved to Santa Cruz about 12 years ago. We like it there. Uh, but we make all kinds of, um, uh, with one exception, special purpose microphones where we really want to be the best and the most specific application microphone for a given job. We want to be to do something really well that other people don't do. If someone else is doing really well, we don't want to make an SM57. Sure does that. It's fine. Um, we want to do something that only we can do, and there are a few different models that we make that, that address specific, unique requirements, and getting rid of reflections is one of them. This is entirely manufactured in our shop. These, they're pieces that come from various other facilities there in Northern California, but the whole capsule and all of the, the housing and all the machining is done in our shop in uh, Santa Cruz. Thank you again for making a great microphone. and. Yeah. Check it out, Josephson Engineering.